All right, I'm back. That was awkward. Now we're in the parking lot. Ebony, don't slow me down. We've got like five minutes left of recording time because of YouTube's stupid damage. Well, anyway, the guy with his dog was walking up the park area, so I was like, okay, pause, because that would be very awkward. Well, there's bound to be some, well, obviously. I mean, the best time to take a dog for a walk down a place like this, the morning. It's much more relaxed, but I'm still exhausted as all hell. Oh, I think I've been awake since, um, uh, 6 p.m. last night, or 8 p.m., something like that, I don't know. I can barely breathe. Ebony, this, what are you doing? Stop doing it. Come on, Eb. We're gonna be going back to the Oriental Garden through this way over here. Uh, why am I giving directions? It's not like you freaking gonna come here. Seriously, are even any of my viewers from Wales? Wait, which way was it? Yeah, it was down here, wasn't it? It's been a while since I've been down here and Ebony keeps doing that. Oh, that's uh, blah. Uh, no, I might as well show my face briefly. I'd probably look exhausted. I had a haircut about um, uh, three weeks ago, I think. And yeah, fuck you. Okay, that's my face. Okay, you saw my fucking face. And I don't really give a shit. I don't really like my face much. That's probably why I always grow my hair to cover it. Well, there's nothing really wrong with my face or anything. It's just... I don't know, I don't have much confidence in my look, I suppose. Well... Easy there. Easy now. Easy. And this camera is probably going to be shaking like crazy when I play it back. Hard to stay still, especially when you do that. Hold on to a lead like that, that's not how you do it. I feel more like I'm being dragged along on the journey into the last words of the Legend of Zelda. While talking like a moron. But then again, that is my everyday life. It's a good life. Well, it's a boring life, actually. I mean, it would be so much better if I could have someone to hold the damn camera and stuff. I mean, I've got a family, uh, like our dad, mother, sister, a brother, and a shitload of relatives. But no, never can get someone to hold a camera now, can I? Oh. Uh, no, I actually wanted this place to be a setting uh, for a horror movie I wrote. Uh, probably around 2006, 2007, something like that. It was a pretty lame horror movie, I gotta say. It's basically, I called it the Unknown Killer, for whatever reason. And it involved a werewolf mask, not the one I've got now, a different one. And he just went around and hit people with a hammer. It was very weird, made no sense. But then again, I was a lot younger back then. How? The school even freaking thought I did good stories. First story I ever wrote was poorly written but well received by the critics at the school. My voice is probably barely actually able to understand because I am exhausted beyond belief. But it was something about dragons. I can't really remember the name. Uh, anyway, I'm just gonna pause this and I'm gonna get to the other part of the river. Meet you there. Hey, get over here. Is that a robin? Was it a robin? Oh, damn you running away and blending in with the ground and not being visible. Oh, and it's a nice view, isn't it? Yes. Anyway, this is not the part of the river I was talking about. Meet you there! Holy shit, he's over there! Catch him! No! Actually, take a quick look at that pause. Just gonna show the, um, what it says on the Oriental Gardening. Anyway, meet you at the river. Bull the shit, I say, and our freaking area blocked off again. They unblock one area. They block in the other area. This is my hand. You see? Might as well show it there. Yes, I do have long nails, but good for the guitar, though. 
The river is blocked off, I think so. So I guess we'll do it from the top. See there. It was you that did it, wasn't it? You cut them trees. Oh, the humanity. Dun, dun, dun. The humanity. Those poor trees. I'm going to have to edit parts of this video. Not because it's so graphic. I mean, look at that. They cut down trees. This is the most inhumane thing I've ever seen in my life. Oh my god, the inhumanity. Oh, it was it humanity? No, it was humanity. Holy shit. Well, anyway, I'm gonna edit a few things out because I've got a lot of time limit with all these random bullets. Anyway, I'll meet you at the view house on there. See you at the top of the thing that has the river. So, or uh, if I see anything interesting, meet you there. What the fuck? Did they just, like, cut down branches off the tree, but not the whole thing? Or is that natural? It's kind of weird, actually. Don't know if I can even freaking see it. No, this place was sealed off a while back. But, for some reason, I guess they're like, Oh, now that we chopped down trees, made it dangerous to cross for some people, I think it's safe to say, we can now release the barrier thing. And the stupid thing is, do you remember that sign we saw? It's, like, closed because dangerous trees and stuff in the way. Well, what do you call all this shit? I call bullshit. Major bullshit. Oh. Jeez, man. Oh. This will be sealed off right there for the longest time. It'd be funny if I walked up to it and it was sealed off. <laughs> Look at the humanity over there. Quickly, Ebony. We must run there and see the carnage. The carnage that is humans. Destroying trees. Probably for a good reason, I imagine, though. I don't know. I don't know what reason they chopped it down for. Maybe it was... Every time they looked at it, they compared to the size of their dick and was kind of disappointed. But, oh my god! Well, I've seen this kind of shit before. Can't remember when, though. Anyways, again, I keep saying it, but me too. At the beginning. No, leaving Jurassic Park. Home of uh, uh, chopped down trees and birds and squirrels and rabbits and a bunch of random people walking their dogs occasionally and a bunch of annoying random teenagers. I don't count myself as one of them because I am 20. I don't think I count as a teenager right now. But then again, you never know. Fucking hell, my head hurts. And this hole here is blocking the view of the river, man. This thing doesn't even have zoom and I can't even freaking see it. Holy shit, I can't believe I'm still recording this crap. Oh my god, Ebony, stop. Oh, I'm going to fall over. I feel drunk. I like the sumo wrestlers in sumatory dreams. Only worse, somehow. Those trees are blocking my view. I will not approve of this. Why do I sound like I'm voice acting some kind of unusual character? Man, I'm getting deja vu to that mage video I made where I had these weird accents for every character. And the Vivi character, what voice did I use for him? Ah, uh, I can't remember actually. Uh, most awkward moment just now. Guy walking past with his dog and it was kind of awkward because the dog and my dog, they were kind of like, just chilling, you know. And then Ebony decided to take this and wrap it around the guy who owns the dog. That was awkward. Especially since I'm not the type of person that likes to interact with random people. So I do not like that. And I can't think it was the river down there. Well, yes, it is down there. But can I see it? It's the real question. I can fucking dog. It would have been funny if that whole installation back there was recording. I should have just left it on, it'd be hilarious. Anyway, the river's down there. You can't see jack shit, because I can't zoom. Anyways, that's all. Um, I think I'm going to glance, but also about the LP business. It'll be kind of the regular a bit, but I'll, I just need a bit of rest here now, you know? Get some fresh air, and then become exhausted as hell. And then, ah, uh, record, I blow it up. Yes, I've got a lot of cluttered, uh, recorded, 
And uh, I've also got part of Earth on the card here. The Digimon LP was complete long ago, so that's all sorted. Most of the Pokemon LP as well. And I'll start work on the Casper one as well. Since I just recently, two hours ago, completed the game. The last area is annoying as fuck. You drop down the floor, four or five floors, and you've got to avoid a bunch of axes thrown at you while carrying cats on a pillow or a balloon. It is unbelievably, unbelievably frustrating. But so was the final boss. She keeps spitting all this kind of, um, sick at me. It was disgusting. I had to hit her with a lightning bolt, but the game didn't tell me what I was supposed to do. So I finally figured out how to use the pirate thing. But it's still a bit of a pain in the ass. You gotta hold the bat sword thingy, and you gotta knock it back, and she keeps using chip attacks. Anyway, see ya.